Is Easter Sunday really about bunny rabbits and Easter eggs? Or is there more to it? Yes, there's loads more to it. Jesus was resurrected. Let's have a look right here, right now. Easter Sunday is more than about bunnies and Easter eggs. It's about the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Without the resurrection of Jesus Christ, there's no me standing here as a vicar. There's no church building for me to stand in. There's no video of me speaking about Easter Sunday. Without the resurrection of Jesus Christ, there is no Christian faith. There's just a man who died on the cross who was delusional in his thinkings. The resurrection of Jesus confirms everything that he said and restores us fully back into relationship with God and gives us that great and future hope. It's recorded in the Gospels. Yes, there are bunnies and there are Easter eggs. Um, they come from pagan traditions, uh, going through spring and fertility. Look, in the past, the way that Christians um, would bring Christianity to local uh, societies and countries, would be to take their pagan festivals and Christianise them. Um, go to pagan temples and put a church on them. Take these festivals and put um, Jesus in them to help people understand. Is that a bad thing? No. You look through history, that's what happens. The Gospels are true um, and this is one thing that they did. So uh, on the other side we do get Easter eggs and bunnies as an effect but it's all about the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Today, the world will take the bunnies and the eggs, but there's more good news. We read in the Gospels, and it's in Matthew, Mark, Luke and John, um, about the resurrection the story of Jesus. Um, in Luke 24, it says, on the first day of the week, very early in the morning, and the first day of the week for them in the Jewish calendar was on a Sunday, the woman took spices, they had prepared and went to the tomb. They found the stone had been rolled away from the tomb, but when they entered, they did not find the body of the Lord Jesus. While they were wondering about this, suddenly two men in, in clothes that gleamed like lightning stood beside them. In their fright, the women bowed down their faces to the ground. But the men said to them, Why do you look for the living among the dead? He is not here, he has risen. Remember how he told you while he was still with you in Galilee. The Son of Man must be livid, delivered into the hands of the sinful men, be crucified, and on the third day be raised again. Then they remembered his words. And they go um, to uh, the disciples, and they tell the disciples of um, what they've seen and what they've been told. The testimony of women in those days wasn't taken as much at all. Women were seen very much as second-class citizens. For the disciples to hear what they said and to run straight to the tomb um, is absolutely amazing. Jesus is um, seen at other times. Luke records on the road to Emmaus, another uh, amazing story. He appeals uh, to the disciples. Um, they see him. Easter Day in the church is celebrated as we come together across the world celebrating this most joyous day. We will do it in different ways. Uh, communion will be hugely important in some churches. Just coming together as a church to celebrate and to sing our praises to God for what he has done. The resurrection also shows us an Easter Sunday and reminds us that we, we, we will be resurrected ourselves to be with Jesus forever. What is Easter Sunday? It can be a bit confusing with people if you go to the supermarket and see all these Easter eggs. But Easter Sunday is about the start of the Christian church through the resurrection of Jesus Christ.